day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you. It's all the spirit and if it is the premier gift, why is it not there? But I've never seen love as a identified as a gift, spiritual gift. Yeah, right? it's a it, yeah, it says a fruit, but not a gift. And the fruit of spirit is love, but not a gift. So a gift, not a gift, love, right? Like, but it is a gift. So this is the thing. The Bible says, "So God so loved the world." Right. That he gave his only begotten son, uh -huh. who sources love, he so who it is love. He is love, right? So okay, so the gift is love. Amen. The moderator is love. Good morning, Dr. Stanley. That, 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 that's a, uh, I mean, he, he said, why was it? Oh, I kind of got a little distracted because they put a plate of breakfast in front of me. <laughs> yeah. Which is why I turned my camera off. <laughs> so forgive me while I profit self. <laughs> I got you, I got you, brother. <laughs> he wanted, but he asked, why was 12? Love was not introduced in 12, and it wasn't talked about in 13 either. Why was it not included in 12? Um, That's an interesting point. I, all I know, I, you gave some scripture I would have held on to, but he didn't say there's another scripture. What scripture? I don't know how the scripture you can put in there. The scripture we gave from the beginning was God is love. That's what I put down in the beginning. A mind is no. First John 4 8, he that love is not, no, it's not God, for God is love. Therefore, God is the whole foundation, but these gifts come from God. But God himself is love. I think that was just saying, Brother Asin, I know you quoted that, God is love in there, but why was it not? That's a good, I can't. <laughs> I can't, uh, I don't know why I was not missing it well. Maybe because that's not a spiritual gift? Well, at the end of chapter 12, he says, he makes the point that diversity characterizes the body of Christ. They don't all have the same gifts. They're not supposed to all have the same gift. Your body is not supposed to be all fingers. Uh, <laughs> or all toes. Right. Or all ears. Or else you would have a monstrosity. Right. His point is, is that the very your very body is diverse because of its purpose. Okay. Gotcha. Now, if you take that and, and take it over to this body of Christ. He's trying to maintain that same idea. That that and, and so if you didn't mention in your CRT anything about diversity and unity, you kind of missed it. I can't fit it in there. <laughs> I can't fit it in there, Bishop. Bishop. Okay, okay, so but then he goes on to show you that though they all don't have the same gifts, every one of them is supposed to have love. Yeah. Uh, that, that's the whole point I give you a say this. Yeah. Well, Love now, not only that, now the question, hold on, the question becomes, how does every member of the body of Christ, how is love given to them, if it's not a gift? <laughs> it's not a gift for ministry, it's a gift for all mankind, it's God himself. What do you mean it's not a gift for ministry? No, 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 no. Love is love is not a singular gift. It is. It has to be part of every spiritual gift. God Himself, love is. I'm trying to say, love is a 
is given to all men. In other words, I guess when you say the body of Christ, the body of Christ is one in love, but is that first in gifts, spiritual gifts. Does that make sense? Well, and that, that's why I say, if you get the CIT right, if you, if you look at the right thing, now you remember in Galatians, it tells you the fruit of the spirit is love. Yeah. Yeah. But this is the fruit of the spirit. Yeah. So this is part of the character of Christ himself. These things that are listed, they are not necessarily gifts. The fruits, the character, those are characteristics of God. Right. So in 522 he says. In Galatians 522? Yeah, I didn't see the gift of joy. I didn't see the gift of peace. I didn't see the gift of long suffering. I didn't see the gift of goodness. Now, you have to be careful with faith because faith is common to everybody. But yeah, there is a gift of faith. Right. That was faithfulness in anyway. it. You gotta you gotta be careful with some of these things because in some cases. Though everybody, though faith is part of the character of every believer because you can't participate in the kingdom if you don't have faith. So God yeah. has given to every man a measure of faith. Yeah. But there are some people who have the gift of faith. Mm. So these things, these things go to show you now, in the person of Christ who is in you, as God is imaging you, he's, he's shaping you according to the character of Christ. Yeah. So that you conform to his image. Right. So that there ought to be found in every believer all of these fruits in verse 22 of Galatians chapter 5. Right. You ought to find love, joy, and peace, and long suffering, and gentleness, and goodness, and faith, and meat, and temperance. You ought to find all of these in the lives of every believer. Mm -hmm. So they are not prophets, they're not all prophets. There is this common core. That undergirds every unique gift. Mm. It's like the source to each gift. This is God. And That's is it of God if it's not of love? Not of Obviously God. not. So is that it's, idea is that idea in your CRT? <laughs> I can't get that in there, bitch. That, I, if, I, if I do that, I'm gonna delete. I'm gonna delete the uh, the CIT. I, I, look, you didn't, for this one, I guess we're trying to say we need to. There's my CIT again. We really have to make it bigger than than uh, 15, 18 words. I I I couldn't. I I would leave out the, the most. So the part I think is more important than anything else is it bears, endures, believes. Hope is all things and never fails. And you're saying, what is all things? I would need to, need to cut out the kingdom of God to, to elude that. If, if, if we want to keep it at 15, 18 words. And, and like I say, if we're going to cover multiple chapters, then it has to be each chapter at least get 15, 18 words, then we could get a paragraph. <laughs> What do you think, Brother Asin? Yeah, if, but you know what? And, right. and, and this is the thing. Once you get a paragraph, then you start concentrating those words uh -huh. in that paragraph to come up yeah. with your CIT. Right. And if you come to multiple chapters, that seems like it makes sense, right? So we're talking three to, we're actually talking about from, from 11 to 14. I told you you had bit off, you bit off a serious piece of work. When you yeah, me. I remember when, when, when I was I was actually on the golf course and and Bishop called me and he said so what what are we gonna discuss and I told him what the CIT was gonna be about and the first thing that came out of his mouth he said ooh that's a big one <laughs> <laughs> right so, the I mean, first thing that came out of his mouth <laughs> you know but that's that's a good point then as as, as we tell Bible studies and studying the Word of God. If, if it's uh, outside of a smaller parable, 
Because I do like the fact that when we talked about the last parable, the Good Samaritan, if, 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 but as I don't know if you're there, he was saying is, what was the central reason for the parable? Uh huh. Story, right? And we jump back to, well, the question was, how do I inherit eternal life? Uh huh. Not the story. The story was as, as a prop to find out who's your neighbor. Yeah. And if, if you if you knew who your neighbor was, I didn't really I could throw away the story of the Good Samaritan and focus just on the answer if you knew who your neighbor was. And then the bigger part was how to inherit eternal life. Love the Lord thy God with all thy heart and all thy soul and all thy mind. So that that's a that that's that those scriptures stayed within the context of the discussion, right? It wasn't jumping into the middle of the discussion. It was all part of that one discussion. Yeah. When we're approaching a any other studies in the Bible, what we're what we're getting from this, this is me, and I think that what El Bishop was trying to say is get the beginning of the discussion and maybe the ending of the discussion, and now make a CIT based on the discussion as total. Is that what you're trying to say, Bishop? Say it again. What he's saying is that at the approach, because I'm more interested in the approach and application of doing central CIT. If I was saying is I was using what we did last week and probably two weeks ago, in, you know, last two weeks, when we did the Samaritan, we were saying is you have to apply the 23, which was what was the what was Jesus trying to answer? Discussion was between i guess 22 or 25 and, 20 and 37 yeah that's the discussion so now the cit is based on that those those verses because that was the discussion when you get into a and you post some scriptures and you said do a simple theme of text you got to find out where the beginning of the discussion is and where it ends it. and now you see our teacher encompass the discussion is that yeah. what you were saying yeah for example for example, if I were to ask you, you know, I'm just, I'm just curious. If I were to ask you, what is chapter 10 of Luke about? Hmm. Did you answer that question? It was that particular one, if I recall. Uh, it was, it was, uh, wait a minute, let me go to it. That's a good point. Ah, I see, no, don't go to it, I'm saying. See, when you've done the research, it stands out in your mind. See, yeah. when you're done the research, you can talk about it. And this is the good thing about CIT preparation. Uh -huh. it, it forces you to go back and grab the big picture if you can. Because in, in chapter 10, you see, he sends out, I think, 70 men. Yeah. 70, yeah. Yeah. He, he's running the test pilot now on not just the 12. Now he sends out 70 others in addition to the 12. give well, them a to go preach the gospel yeah but the only problem with that one is that the uh that discussion with i i wouldn't tie that that uh <laughs> i tried to get it i tried to touch it can't move it what was the i can't even get down to it Bishop. i gotta come off this thing right here I, so I, he, I, he, give, he give them some instructions about what they ought to do. Yeah. yeah. Sends them all. Tell them that the people who reject them and don't hear them are in serious trouble. <laughs> what is the wall? He gets a wall for the people who reject. Right. Mm -hmm. But that's a different, all those are different discussions in that chapter, right? Because when you get down to the Samaritan, that is a whole new different discussion, though, isn't it? I mean, that is a different discussion, though. Right? I mean, when you go all the way from 1 to 24, that's a that's a different discussion. You wouldn't do a CIT for the whole chapter because that's a whole different discussion, right? Well, I'm just saying, you have to examine the text in the context in which it is given. Okay. This text is sitting right in the middle. of an ongoing situation. What is recorded here is not something that happened independent of 
him sending those 70 men out. They're coming back, giving him a report, him rejoicing and being thankful that God had, God had uh, graced these men, even though the Spirit of God is not in them, with them. It is grace these men to be successful yeah. in, in, kingdom, in the kingdom work, in the kingdom music. Okay. And, and Jesus is excited about that. And then while, while in the middle of that, now all of a sudden, you know, somebody pops up with a question to test him. But, that, but that, that's, I always say the Lord was not part of that thing, of those people, right? He said, 23, he said, he turned up to the disciples and said privately, Blessed are the eyes which see the things that you see. For I tell you that many prophets and kings have desired to see those things which you see and have not seen them. Yes. And to hear those things which you hear and have not heard them. And it's like, that's privately discussed. And then they said, behold, a certain lawyer stood up. As if you're trying to say he was there too? Well, I'm just talking? saying, see, is that lawyer one of the 70 that was sent out? That's a good question. He did say, like, if that's a continuation of the conversation, Master, what shot? That's a, it's almost like that's a different setting or scenery. But no, I'm saying, so, so, all I'm saying is, <laughs> you would be wise uh -huh. in writing your CIT to gather. Not only did not, not not only to look at the portion of scripture that you've been assigned, mm. look at the context in which it sits. Okay. Because if you think about a piece, if you think about this, you choose this, you chose chapter 13. Of the first yes, sir. Yeah. Now, if you had a, a a big picture of what the Spirit of God was trying to say, chapter 13 would just be a piece of that puzzle. It wouldn't be the whole puzzle. Mm. So yeah. when you get through though, what you want is you want that piece of truth that the spirit is using chapter 13 to convey. So that when you fit it into the bigger picture of what he's trying to say, it makes uh -huh. sense. Okay. Would you put the, the you know what the struggle I keep saying with it is the so we really have to go outside of when you do a big piece like we just selected, then you 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 move to more than 15, 18 words, right? You don't have to be restrained then. That, that, like I said, that's going to take, that'll take more if you want to be a good condense of that discussion. Right, it's, it's like Myron said earlier, you know, you can't walk in at the end of the movie. Yeah. And, and somewhere out of that. <laughs> and write a CRT on that. Right. <laughs> so good example. Yeah. <laughs> but it's going to be, it's going to be seriously jacked up. <laughs> <laughs> it said Jack. In, in other words, don't restrain to 15, 18 words for everybody else listening. If it's going to cover multiple discussions, if it's going to cover a large portion of the discussion, you, we're not going to be held to those small, simple words. Uh, but I do want to say back that Luke one, is that not a separate discussion going on when he said, lawyer stood up like i said it's, i don't i don't picture him as being as one of the disciples because they identified him that anybody see it different i mean this is, is that you think 25 and 24 are the same thing in that chapter luke chapter 10 i, I think that's a different because i'm saying how people approach it, uh cit if, I think, like you said, find the beginning of the discussion and perhaps the end of the discussion. Then you can do a CIT with it. If this one, Luke 10, 25 to 37, is a different discussion than the, I don't know. I, I, I don't see it any, I see them as two different settings. Well, well 25 to 37 is actually talking about the king. Right. The lawyer asked him, Basically, how do I get in? Right. What must I do to get in? And his motive was different than what I was assuming the, the, the yeah, seventy. The, the question he asked is what did what the question is what caught Jesus' attention because it's a very serious question. Because part of the mission is Jesus has come as the very means 
for people to get in. Right. It's over.